short form content and long form content. Creator AI can do both of these things and much more. But how is the quality of the output? Let's dive in and find out. Version 3 of DaVinci has just been released when I'm making this video and Creator AI is taking advantage of this and DaVinci version 3 has better quality output and it's better for long form content which is great because that is the direction that AI copywriting is going. Overall using Creator AI then the design is decent but they really have some UX issues which I'll come back to later in the video. But as mentioned, using Creator AI, you can generate social media posts, you can generate entire blog posts, add text and much more. But what I have done in this testing has mainly been blog posting because that's what I use AI copywriting for. So it simply starts out by using the module called SERP Beta, which is a funny name because that's what SEO is all about, beating the search result page. You want to rank number one, so I like that name. But what you begin with is entering your search phrase and be specific. Don't just enter a specific keyword like WordPress or hand humor or something like that. Be specific. Enter a question, something like how do you upload images in WordPress? Because that is what we want to rank for. There's so few people searching on specific keywords. It's all about questions now. But when you have entered your question or your search phrase, chosen your language, and chosen what search engine you want to use, then the SERP beta will now start to crunch data. And now we'll pull the 20 results on this specific search phrase that you have entered, and then you can choose what you want to use of these specific results for your AI content generation. Because when it's done, then you now have a blank document where you can start. And what I always start with is an outline. So by adding this outline via AI, you still have to describe a little bit what your post is about. I would like here that they just reused my search phrase because I've been fairly specific and then based on that, then they generated an outline. And to be honest here, based on my testing, the outlines has not been of great quality. Sometimes they're okay, but often they're just completely off. And when you start to generate text under an outline, which is not specific for your search phrase, then you just get an even worse result. So the outline is really important to nail. I will always recommend you to take a look at the generated outline and then change it so it becomes very specific. You have to think of it as every point in the outline needs to be able to rank by itself on Google. So it needs to be very descriptive. But overall, building this blog post, I found a lot of issues because I have to go in and out of using the AI copywriting tool all the time. Every time I want to add an outline or an introduction or something like that, the only thing I can do within the editor is just generate text. And when you generate text underneath an outline that is not descriptive, then it just becomes even more generic. But even when I entered text that was super descriptive, then the text generator was just from a fact standpoint completely wrong. So my testing overall has not been super positive. I have got some results I could use, but overall, I think they really need to take an extra look at it. The way I understand and have used Creator is to build an outline and then for each of these points in the outline, I want to generate text. So I'm thinking that the Creator AI is looking at the point from the outline and then generating text based on that. At least that's how scale, not phrase and IO and similar tools work. I think they should really take a look at how Scalenut does it. It's a very simple process and it makes it so much easier because with Scalenut you enter your search phrase in the same way as we do with Creator AI, but then automatically you will have an outline built and you can even add more points to this outline and then you move on to the text which is generated for each point in the outline. Completely automatic. The only thing you need to do is enter a search phrase. And I still like to tweak the outline a little bit but this way just makes it so much easier to generate the blog post. We save so much time. And then when we are in the editor, we have more or less the same functionality as with Creator AI, where we can generate more text. But based on my test, I have just received better text using Scalenut than Creator AI. So the overall quality of the content based on my testing has not been great. Will I continue to use Creator AI? 
and as it is right now, I will not. I would rather use something like Scalenut or Phrase.io. I get way better results and I feel the research is more in depth because the text is based on the research done from the search phrase. So you can see everything is basically connected in this way, which makes the text better. The output is just better using Scalenut or Phrase.io. But if you're on a budget, then Creator AI starts at nine US dollars, which is quite cheap for an AI copywriting tool because Scalenut and Phrase, they are at least $30 for the cheapest plan, which tells me that they know that their product is not refined yet. They have priced themselves cheap because they need to add more functionality in the future. And what I can see on their roadmap, even though it's quite confusing, then they're adding a ton of different tools, which is great because the more tools, the better, but the quality of the output is so important. And I think they should invest in adding a better blog post generator because this is something I can see with both Phrase and with Scalenut is super important to solve because that is basically the main thing that many people use these AI copywriting tools for. And on top of that, then I really hope that they will focus on the UX. If they can build a blog post creator where they maybe get inspired by Scalenut, then they will really have a solid blog post creator and of course tweak it to be their own and then the quality of the output just it needs to be better. But that said, I can see that people are really excited for creator. So maybe it's just for my case, the way that I use these AI copyright tools, it's just not great because other people are receiving great output. I can see people are excited when I research for reviews. So overall, maybe you should try and test it out because now I have tested more than 20 different AI copywriting tools. And what I have found out is that it really depends on the input you give them. So the more specific and the more descriptive you are, the easier it is for the AI copywriting to give you a better result. But some of these AI copywriting tools doesn't need much information and then they can just generate brilliant content. Creator AI is not there yet, but I think it has potential. So based on the current state of Creator AI, I want to give them three stars. We simply just need better output and then the UX needs an optimization. But if you want to see my review of Scalenut, then you can watch it up here of how you can build a blog post in no time at all. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.